Hey, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, follow us on Instagram. Or go to our website, writingcraig.com. You can watch all our read-alouds there. Or send us a message. Craig, I have a message. Go for it. I want to give a shout out to Miss Best. It's Miss Beast. Miss Beast. She has a reading show, too. And she sent us today's book. Yes, and we're super excited to read it, because today's book is... <gasps> Elmer. Elmer by David McKee. Let's get started. <laughs> Elmer. Elmer by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other, all different but all happy and all the same color. All that is, except Elmer. Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was not elephant color. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I love all those colors. Man, I wish I had an elephant that had a bunch of colors like that. I know, my elephant doesn't have any of those colors, just gray. You have an elephant? Yeah, his name is Herbert, and he likes bananas. Where do you keep an elephant? In my room. What? <laughs> I wanna see it right now. Oh, he's tired, we can't see him right now. Okay, I can't believe you have an elephant. Yeah. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking, and the thing that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped quietly away, unnoticed. I know the feeling. Herbert's always slipping away. Really? Yeah. Wait, can I see him, please? Can I see him? Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Clap three times. Go ahead. <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, you must have missed him when your eyes were closed. Why did you tell me to close my eyes then? That's usually when he comes out, because he's scared of people with open eyes. Man, I want to see this elephant. Maybe. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, Good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, Good morning. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. Oh no! Oh man! He covered up his cool patchworkness. Yeah, now he just looks like a regular elephant. Ah! Oh. I hope I don't get confused with Herbert. Where is this elephant? Show him to me now. Okay, look behind you. Oh, look again, there he is, there he, oh, you missed him. What? I'll call him Herbert. Herbert? Is that how you call him? Yeah. Herbert? Her Herbert? Oh, there he is. What? Oh, oh wait, turn around. <coughs> oh, nope, there he goes. <laughs> what? Turn around. <laughs> And back. No! After that, Elmer set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant! And each time, Elmer smiled and said, Good morning! Pleased that he wasn't recognized. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still, standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Herbert! 
Her Herbert? Herbert? Why would he be shouting Herbert? <laughs> Herbert? <laughs> Herbert? <laughs> you can't, don't yell at him. Oh. You have to say it nicely. Herbert? That's too quiet. He's not gonna come out. <laughs> and at the top of his voice shouted, The elephants jumped and fell all ways in surprise. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh my bully! They said, and then saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said. It, it must, must be Elmer. Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst, and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colors. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. Wow, hey Ryan, do you decorate Herbert on uh, this elephant holiday? I don't want you to get upset, but I have something to tell you. Ooh, another surprise? Sort of. I don't have an elephant named Herbert. I don't have an elephant at all. I live in an apartment. I hope you're not mad. <laughs> this is your best joke yet, Ryan. I thought it was a good one. <laughs> Herbert would love this. Herbert, Herbert! You're yelling too, try quieter. Herbert, too quiet, try louder. Herbert! Too loud. Try in the middle. Herbert? Way too much in the middle. Elmer! Elmer. By David McKee.